I'm Victoria Gardner. I work for the Fort Wayne Civic Theater as the scenic artist and volunteer coordinator. We get anywhere from high, middle school and high schoolers to retirees. Uh, mainly it's like high school, college age kids who are trying to get experience or just want something fun to do, or retirees again who are looking for something to get out of the house and do and contribute to the community. My name is Heather Clausen and my primary place that I volunteer is the Fort Wayne Dance Collective. I volunteer because they, um, they give me an outlet to do a lot of different things over there. Um, as a dancer myself, I still perform with them as um, not only a member of the touring company, but also as a volunteer. Um, and all the choreography that I do for them is volunteer work. And I just, I just like the organization and like to give back in a little bit of a different way beyond just dancing and choreographing for them. So being a part of those committees lets me do that. Uh, some volunteers come in because they want the tickets. They We give two tickets to every volunteer who gives at least six hours or participates backstage. We have some volunteers who just, who like us, <laughs> who like being around here, who like theater, um, and they just do it for the love of theater. Um, other people come in, we make show themed rubber ducks and that's a volunteer a gift that we give um, all our shop volunteers and our backstage volunteers so some people come to collect all those in a season they want to get the full collection uh, which is kind of fun. I think it's a way for people to be a part of something that maybe they don't get to be a part of during their nine to five job um, so it's a way to continue pursuing hobbies beyond uh, the end of a hobby phase. Um, for example, like with the dance collective, say that somebody is no longer able or wanting to dance, but they can still be active in a dance organization. For nonprofits, volunteers are essential, um, especially a lot of the nonprofits that we have in Fort Wayne. They only have staffs of anywhere from two to ten people. If they have more than that, they're extremely lucky and fortunate. Um, but still require volunteer manpower to help make events possible, to help get any of those flyers folded or posters hung, any of those details that we take for granted as just people viewing a poster in a coffee shop. Um, I don't think we always realize that somebody had to go and do that. So volunteers are really important.